Bobby is out of Nashville. Bobby, thank you for calling. You're on the air. Hey, Jesse. I just wanted to let you know that uh, men are standing up, and uh, your last call was so great, you know, and you talked about how you noticed that the media is pushing the gay agenda, even on the right. And my call is sort of about that. I kind of wanted to just let you know that there is a sort of civil war brewing um, in the right-wing movement between the establishment, um, you know, you might call them rhinos, who are pushing the gay agenda and who are uh, pushing um, degeneracy and all this stuff, and the young generation who I find are a little bit more religious. And right now, we've basically had enough of... um, the rhinos, and if you, you're going to see from now on, you're going to see uh, young people going to different conservative events and calling into conservative shows and calling these people out. And a lot of these people, if you've been on Twitter or if they, your fans have been on Twitter, uh, a lot of they probably have seen this that these people are exposing themselves for grifters, uh, for being fake conservatives, pushing the gay agenda, pushing the trans agenda, pushing the drag agenda. Um, and I just wanted to bring that to you. I mean, some of these people call themselves Groypers. Um, and anyway, I, I also want to thank you uh, because you... Yeah, go ahead. No, pretty good point. I was going to uh, thank you because throughout all of this, you've remained consistent, you know, for and you've been called, you know, coon, and you've been called a hater and all this stuff, and you've been consistent. And now that people are turning against the right wing, the so called rhino right wing grifters, I think people are going to notice you more because you've been consistent this whole time. And I just want to really thank you for that. You're welcome, Bobby. I'm not surprised to hear this because once men wake up and come out of that fallen state, overcome mama, and return to the father, uh, they can't help but stand up for what is right. And they have no other choice because that's the only thing they can see. And they, God is guiding them whether they realize it or not. So I believe firmly as men are waking up, things will get it's better. Happening. It's happening, Jesse. Yeah. And it's partly because of you. I've listened to you for so long. Um, and, you know, men are waking up. And it is, you know, I feel the same energy today in the last week, in the last maybe 48 hours. I feel the same energy today that I felt in 2016 with Trump and you yeah, know, yeah. Trump, the mag, the MAGA movement has been co-opted. I don't know if you saw the MAGA, the lady MAGA drag queen who goes around in MAGA hats and is a, is a drag queen or whatever. So our, our movement has been co- completely co-opted by the gay agenda. Yeah. But how old are I, you, Bobby? I'm 32. Right on. Yeah. It's good yeah, to not, hear this, man, because I'm not surprised. I know that once you wake up, because I was a liberal at one time. I was a Democrat, had, had no mores or values. But once the God changed my heart and drew me into the kingdom within, I have no other choice but to live this way. I had no other choice when I was in the fallen state. Now I have no other choice that he's awakened me. So I totally understand what you're saying, and I'm glad to Jesse, hear it. You, you're so right about it being a spiritual battle. And God, God is, I, I feel the energy from God. And I, I wouldn't consider myself a Christian, but America is always, has been, and will always be a Christian nation. Yes. People are, people are waking up to that fact. This is the, the basis of conservatism is not liberalism. It's not uh, libertarianism. The basis of conservatism is God, family, and country. Yes. And people are waking up to this. You know, they, they, the gatekeepers and the rhino, uh, the rhino Republicans can't keep us out any longer. And I urge you and I urge everyone listening to step it up and to be vocal and to uh, call these people out because you know what the enemy that is inside our gates is way more dangerous than the enemy outside our gates. Absolutely Bobby. Absolutely. We need to stop attacking the left for a second and attack the rhinos that are inside our gates. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you Bobby. An amazing call. Thank you for it man. Bye bye. Bye now. Amazing. He's right. He's right. Let me see the picture of the drag queen he mentioned. That's the drag queen? Yeah. And so what about him? He's a MAGA. Why is he a drag queen? But why is he a drag queen? That's a good question. Because the problem with that, if we accept the drag queen 
and just because they're for Trump, that means uh, uh, most people be too weak to go against the fact that he's a drag queen. Right. And they're, yeah, they're not they're not accepting what's right entirely. But they'll be they wouldn't want to say, hey, you're right about Trump, but we are not accepting drag queens either. Right. Because that's what the so-called conservative homosexuals are doing. They are pretending to be Republicans, but then they're also like got husbands and right. women think they got wives. And so a lot of con- conservative people are. Uh, are too weak to go against that now because they are these people are conservatives, right? And then they're justifying what they're doing, and they're trying to point a finger to, you know, the 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 ones who are more radical, the more gays that are more radical, and say, oh, well, I'm trying to help them, but then you're not you're not here, you're not fixed, right? Satan is somehow <laughs> <laughs> Satan will figure out all kind of ways to get in, really, and I. Uh, before this up, can we play that boy again? I still can't get over <laughs> exactly. that. Uh, I want to show you the example. This black guy uh, by the name of Rob Smith. Rob Smith, supposed to be a Republican, conservative, I guess, but he is also a homosexual. He said it. I had no idea, right? And then he's talking about a husband. That's what just. It's okay to be a homosexual. Just keep it secret. Don't try to impose it, right? But don't come out saying, oh, I'm a conservative, but I got a who's. Listen to this. Look, I, I think, Tucker, the first thing that I have to say is that as a gay man watching that event last night, that LGBTQ alphabet soup t- town hall, I was absolutely mortified. I just have to yeah. say to you and your audience that that represents a very tiny sliver um, of the gay and lesbian population well, of America. It does not represent, I am a gay man, I am <laughs> married, uh, I love my husband, and if we couldn't find a Why church that wanted to form our that? marriage, we would just find another church church you know why why is he not mortified that he's up there what is mama gonna say but see the thing is he thinks that he's saving he thinks that he's he's trying to point the gaze in the right direction to not be so radical and, and go overboard but he's not realizing that you know he's still but he doesn't see gay as a problem though he thinks <laughs> radical gay is the problem <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing is a problem. You just got one in a dress and the other one not yet. Right. It's, it's insane. But it's not even just those. Is he a radical homosexual? Uh, I, don't, I don't know too much about him. Me either. So, but it's clear what he said right there. But, you know, it's not even just the gay ones. Well, it would have to be radical to be on Tucker Carson's show saying he got a husband. You gotta be radical. <laughs> Out of your mind, radical to say that in the public. <laughs> right, right. That's something you should be ashamed about. Cause even if you're gay, you know you ain't got no husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's radical, don't you think? Cause now Tucker can't say no to that. Right. It's not even just the gay conservatives. It's it's all conservatives. Cause there's there's other conservatives. I won't say the names, but they. You know, they have all kind of uh, godly merchandise and they're saying godly stuff. But then, you know, they're they're living with their girlfriends in a home, not married. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm like. So this black guy, Rob Smith, that's his name? Yeah. He may not be pushing transgender, you know, that madness, but he's pushing homosexuality. Right. Uh, and that's still right. a shameless thing, but he's trying to take the shame out of that. Right. And I can't believe I'm just. Blown away. So now the Republican Party is changing. And I'm glad to hear what Bobby had to say, though, from uh, Tennessee, that there are young men yeah, out up. there that started to get involved and speak up and stand up. You know, the, uh, James played a video yesterday where these guys, it was Rob Smith was on stage, uh-huh. and those young millennials were going up there and saying, like, why do you think this is okay? Like, how, do you, how is this protecting conservatism? So there is guys, Let me see millennials. That. I haven't seen that. Pull it up. That was on the Hake Report? On the Hake Report. Hake news, not fake news. Yeah, I heard him say that this morning. I'm like, Lord, much. this is the same person. Yeah, a little catchphrase. Yeah, the hate news, not the fake news. This is the same person that turned all his his cares over to Jesus. <laughs> understand that sexual liberation is political control. It's a form of 
political control. And you have multiple times uh, advocated on behalf of uh, accepting homosexuality, accepting uh, homosexual acts as normative in the conservative movement. How does <laughs> sex help us win the culture war? I'm going to let I the mean, gay no, man no, no. answer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So can I, can I ask you a question? Can you have the balls to ask the gay man on the stage that question and don't sure. defer to him? If so you, ask so so, so yeah. ask me that question. I will answer you that question. How so does? I'm gonna, no, no, no. I'm going to answer you. You already asked the question, so I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to ask you that question. This is America. This is the greatest freaking nation in the world. And we realize that, that America <laughs> is great because we have Western values. We realize that. No, no, no. Let me finish, dude. We realize that gays and lesbians are able to contribute to American society in the same way that everybody else is. And let me tell you, and let me tell you, when you continue doing that, okay, you realize that we are here, we are able to do everything. And let me tell you something as well. I served in the military, right? I served five and? years. I did an Iraq turn. What's up? And? How does homosexual sex help us win the culture war? Who, Who said that homosexual that sex the helps you win the culture war? <laughs> right off of him. Well, it's a it's a BS question, and you know it is. It's not it's it's a question that is not being it's not it's not a good faith question. So I'm it's gonna not, be, it's the dude, I'm it's gonna not be a good faith question. Rob, like honestly, I don't answer. care what two consenting adults do. So well, are you sure? That's if they are posing it on and, you. And you're you're, you're hyper focused on it is kind of weird. Thanks for I mean, being you here. seem to be you seem to be really interested in gay the sex. Question. I'm pretty sure. Is if that the guy that's married that, to a man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh like, think he's married. I'm not here to tell anybody what to think or what to believe, but for me, somebody like that doesn't really have any place in the conservative movement because it's something that is so, so behind the times. And you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> they were at the um, political thing. No, I think they're on tour, and they went to a different. They're at a different. Place. So he's on tour promoting his husband. Rob, Rob, and and that other guy. That's his husband. No. Oh, that's not their they're, they're both part of a Turning Point. Oh, Turning Point USA. They're both from Turning Point. Yeah. And so Turning Point is uh, promoting Rob's husband. <laughs> they're promoting their little agenda. What, what's their agenda? I don't know. Conservative, conservative things, which is really not because you hear it on Part C, the ones that James played. There's really not conservative stuff. It just sounds liberal. It sounds like liberal talking points to me. And what? And 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 they're trying to trick you. By putting in the so-called conservative homosexuals, right? Because that's supposed to shut you down, right? And they act as though just because these people vote for the Republican Party, but yet, okay, y'all voted for the Republican. Come on, I'll be gay. Homosexuality is, goes against God, and it goes against the norm. Right. And we can't. We should allow young people to grow up thinking that that's a norm. Right. Because immorality is what destroying the millennials anyway. And I think that, They're talented, but right. they have no values, and so it's weakening the men. It's calling, causing the women, the young women growing up to go nuts because they have no values. Satan is their daddy. Right. <laughs> and, and it ain't about contributing to the party. It's about being right and doing right. Right. No, the party and, uh, I'll be right. here today and gone tomorrow. Right. And, and a lot of the conservatives, too, are, there, there's, no, there's no real God in it, so they're just pushing talking points, but they're still missing the case. But I think a lot of people are also just excited for that people are on Trump's side, that they let go of the fact that they're not true Christians or, or doing oh, it correctly. Yeah. So they just want people on Trump's side. So they accept anybody and everybody just to get a vote, too. But it's, it's done in the wrong, the wrong name as well. Uh, uh, very true. Because I know they have this uh, black exit thing. Going Blexit, on. yeah. What? Blexit. Yeah. And just because it's black blessing going on and they for Trump, yeah. they don't deal with the black problems. Right. They just love the blacks who are voting for Trump. Right. But don't they know that when those blacks get in there, they're going to destroy the exactly. Republican Party. Exactly. They're not going to build it. They're going to destroy it. It's not. It's about first thing first. And the first thing first, I mean, the first thing in life is values. Good parents. Loving what's right, being what's right, and doing what's right, and then everything else is added. You've got to have the values first. 
And I want to bring back Christians. Don't be afraid to say you are a Christian because they're really trying to erase Christianity out by saying that they are spiritual. What the? (laughs) You are a Christian. Men, start saying you are a Christian, not spiritual. Because Christianity, it means being Christ-like. When you say you're a Christian, you're saying you're like Christ. But Oprah and all those people who hate Christianity are using the word spiritual. And now everybody, not everybody, a whole lot of folks running around saying that they are spiritual. And when you ask them, what, what do you mean you're spiritual? They can't tell you. Well, Oprah said it. Or a higher power. Or I believe in God, but I don't have a religion. All right. Uh, but you don't hear the Muslims saying that they're spiritual. Right. They're pushing Muslims. That's Muslim. true. That's true. Allah u Akbar. <laughs> All the way. 